cleanup hitter. Absolutely. We need the person that can hit towering bombs, Meredith Morakovitz, in batting practice, 500 feet and beyond. Meredith, good to have you with us. We have talked already about a guy who can hit bombs for this team, and that's Aaron Judge. What's the latest you can tell us about his contract? Well, it's certainly not what Yankees fans want to hear, Bob, but it is the reality right now. The Yankees and Aaron Judge were unable to come to a contract extension. That means it'll just be the arbitration process for him this year and a one-year deal. And Brian Cashman spoke to the media just a few minutes ago to provide a little bit more insight into the process. It's uh, concluded, unfortunately, uh, we'll be in a, in a one-year setting, a yet-to-be-determined number. Um, you know, we obviously had a extended conversation over the last three weeks or so uh, with Paige Odell and I, and I actually had a conversation with uh, Aaron Judge briefly as well, but uh, we were unsuccessful in concluding a multi-year pact. Um, obviously, our, our intent is to have Aaron Judge stay as a New York Yankee as we move forward, and I know that's his intent as well, um, which is a good thing. Uh, we may have to, obviously not may, we're going to be obviously entering, you know, those efforts in a new arena, which would be at the end of the season, you know, uh, when free agency starts, and maybe that will determine what the, you know, obviously his real market value would be, because we certainly couldn't uh, agree at this stage on, on, on a contract extension. Just for transparency purposes, uh, our final effort was uh, trying to buy out seven years of free agency at $30.5 million a year on top of, you know, the the final season, which is this year, which is the arbitration setting, it would turn out to be either 17 or 21, which is his number. So total total would be eight-year deal, you know, seven free agent years at 30.5, uh, plus the 17 or 21, you know, uh, in this final season, uh, which now will just conclude, you know, um, one way or the other here in the time frame um, between now and, and the hearing date. So... Did you feel like you were close, or are you guys on to totally different sides of the spectrum? I, you know, I don't want to characterize it really any further, and I certainly don't want to, you know, adjudicate the, you know, our case versus his case in terms of, you know, uh, what we feel or what he may feel, um, you know, the right value is, um, you know, I can just say that obviously there's still time on the clock. It just uh, will wait now as we enter the, the winter. There's no guarantees, you know, that anything will happen with that. Um, yeah, I know that I, the intent on both parties would be uh, to stay here. You know, he's been a great Yankee. Uh, he's an impactful player. He's uh, one of the game's great players. Um, and, uh, you know, so our certainly hope is that at some point we'll find that common ground that uh, that uh, we both feel comfortable with and um, but the timing obviously on that's not going to happen right now so uh, we are happy he's in pinstripes uh, we look forward to him leading this team uh, this year in another effort to to climb the mountain um, and uh, you know and we'll obviously re-engage you know when the opportunity uh, exist postseason. And you heard Brian Cashman talking about a hearing date. He did say that the arbitration hearing date is set, but did not want to reveal exactly when that would take place. The Yankees filed at 17 million. Aaron Judge filed at 21 million. Brian Cashman was asked whether or not he thinks they might be able to avoid that arbitration hearing, and he said we only go to a hearing if we are pushed into a hearing. So time will tell exactly how that one kind of sorts itself out, Bob. But I can tell you this. I've spoken to Aaron Judge multiple times throughout the course of the spring. He has been asked about the contract situation. He has been calm and he has been at ease all spring long. He actually addressed the media at his locker today just after the clubhouse opened around 930 and he was asked whether or not his approach, his mindset, his focus, anything would change if they were not able to come to an agreement on an extension and Aaron Judge quickly said no. My goal is the same to definitely put my best foot forward and achieve what we are setting out to achieve this year and that's win a World Series. It doesn't seem like this is going to affect him, but we'll have to see how it all plays out.